a progress update on the Viaduct 2.0 new look. in previous videos I've actually redone the faces on each side of the viaduct and the main reason being this section right here was just too thick and so I decided to uh, pull off the old stuff and recut the new stuff with some tweaks to the design. Now I've used the same techniques as you would find in the previous viaduct series if you haven't caught up on that, I advise you go and have a bit of a look. Uh, it's got the techniques on there and what I used. So today is just basically showing you an update progress of where I am with this viaduct. So as you can see, I've actually got it all cut out now. I've put the styrofoam in the inserts. I've cut the styrofoam back. I've now sealed or skimmed the, each of the insides of the viaduct legs. Now I've also given it a, a bit of a primer over the top. Now this was more or less, I just wanted to sort of pick up any major uh, flaws in the finish uh, and I'll speak about that and why in a little while. As you can see here, see right there I've sort of been a bit rough with the sanding. I've taken a couple little chunks out so I'll have to re-skim that and uh, sand that back. But that was basically the technique. Once I got to that skimming stage, I sort of put a layer on, let it dry, sanded it back, put another layer on, let it dry, sand it back. And I sort of went through that process probably two or three times now. And there's still a couple of little areas to touch up. Now the product I used for the skimming, that's it right there in front here, a smooth coat. Um, it was really, really good. It was almost like a liquefied putty. And so it was very easy to apply on. It was very easy to sand. And as you can see there, that's the finished product after a couple of coats and sanding. So I probably should talk about the next steps. Now in previous videos uh, you would have heard me talk about uh, the facing, what, what was I going to put on over the top. Now originally I was talking about, and I have been experimenting with a bunch of card, you know, and on that card you'd have a brick pattern. Now as I got further into this build and you know started to take a lot closer look at the actual Stanmore Park viaduct that I'm actually modeling or scratch building this off. Below this line here down this side you know you'll have a a row of bricks uh, long ways laid and then the next layer up will be sideways um, and that sort of goes up to this part here and then what I found in the pictures from this side here around the arch down to there is all the bricks are facing long ways. One of the issues that have sort of uh, been facing me and 
it's around the outside of these arches again they've got a different brick pattern um, but it's not a brick pattern that I can find and then manipulate with some sort of software so if I went ahead with the card that is going to be a constraint I'm going to have with this build and to be honest I don't really want to just build it close enough is good enough or you know having that type of attitude I actually want to nail this bridge as best I can to my abilities so where to from here well I've changed my direction a little bit now I'm going to go back to my 3d resin printer what I've got planned and look this is probably going to turn this project into one hell of a project but I'm thinking of designing my bricks and then slowly filling all this in with the different brick patterns uh, with what I can design and then print out on the 3D resin printer. Like I said, that, that is one hell of a project, but to be honest, I, I, I'm really eager to give it a go. Once I patch this up, there's a couple little spots that I'll fix up. I'll give it another coat. I've still got to give the, the back side a coat of primer. And then basically it's going to be ready to start putting some details on. So what I'm going to do right now is cross over and take you through a bit of a scene I put together with a bunch of photos. Sort of show you the steps on how this got to this point with what you're seeing right now.